Yes. Hello, my name is Russell Mokhyber. I have a question for Professor Lewis. Um, the British press reported in 1997 that um, your views on the killing of one million Armenians by the Turks in 1915 did not amount to genocide, that your view was it was not genocide. And this report in the Independent of London says that a French court fined you one dollar in damages after you were, after you one said franc. that there was no, no Armenian, one franc, I'm sorry, after you said there was um, no Armenian genocide. My, uh, and this triggered obviously uh, a debate in Israel where, uh, in this, according to this article, can you? I'm sorry. Can you uh, ask your question, please? We're running out of time. The question is, sir, um, have your views changed on this? Whether the killing of one million Armenians amounts to genocide, and your views on the court judgment? This is a question of definition, and nowadays the word genocide is used very loosely, even in cases where no bloodshed is involved at all. And I can understand the annoyance of those who find it refused. But in this particular case, the point that was being made was that the massacre of the Armenians in the Ottoman Empire was the same as what happened to the Jews in Nazi Germany. And that is a downright falsehood. What happened to the Armenians was the result of a massive Armenian armed rebellion against the Turks, which began even before war broke out and continued on a larger scale. Um, great numbers of Armenians, including members of the armed forces, deserted, crossed the frontier, and joined the Russian forces invading Turkey. Armenian rebels actually seized the city of Van and held it for a while, intending to hand it over to the invaders. Um, there was guerrilla warfare all over Anatolia. I mean, this was what we nowadays call a national liberation movement of the Armenians against Turkey. And uh, the Turks certainly resorted to very ferocious methods in repelling it. There is clear evidence of a decision by the Turkish government to deport the Armenian population from the sensitive areas, which meant virtually the whole of Anatolia, uh, not including the Arab provinces, which were then still part of the Ottoman Empire. There is no evidence of a decision to massacre. Um, on the contrary, there is considerable evidence of attempts to prevent it, which were not very successful. Yes, there were tremendous massacres. The numbers are very uncertain, but a million may, may well be likely. Uh, the massacres were carried out by irregulars, by local villagers responding to what had been done to them, and in a number of other ways. But to make this a parallel with the Holocaust in Germany, you would have to assume that the Jews of Germany had been engaged in an armed rebellion against the German state, collaborating with the Allies against Germany, that in the deportation order, the cities of Hamburg and Berlin were exempted, uh, that persons in the employment of the state were exempted, and that the deportation only applied to the Jews of Germany proper, so that when they got to Poland, they were welcomed and sheltered by the Polish Jews. This seems to me a rather absurd parallel.